video we are going to an interesting problem group anagrams this problem tests your ability to understand and manipulate strings and hash maps by the end of the session you will have not just one but two powerful approaches to add to your coding arsenal let's get started so here given are a string strs group anagrams together you can return the answer in any order an anagram is a word of or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase typically using all original letters exactly once so what it means is like we have to group the anagrams together and return them so the order doesn't matter so let's look into the example here in the array of strings here and then output is like we just group the anagrams together so first we have bat here and then we don't find any other anagram so we have only one in this group and then we have nat we found the tan for this uh, so we can see this these two having the same character count and repeat it only once so these two are anagrams and then we just uh, group them into one list and for similarly for eight we found eat and t and we just group them so here in example 2 we just have a list of empty string so we just have only one group here similarly for example 3 we have a list of character a so we just have only one group here so constraints are this array length varies from 1 to 10 power 4 and this strings length varies from 0 to 100 and these are uh, these strings consists of a lower case english letters so let's look at the solutions So first approach is using sorting. So the intuition is two strings are anagrams if and only if this sorted strings are equal, right? So we form algorithm based on that. So here we just maintain a map uh, which is like contains of tuple as a key and the list as a value. So here each key k is a sorted tuple and each value is a list of the strings uh, from the initial input that when sorted and are equal to the k. That is the key here. so let's look into what i meant example here and then we just sort the each word and then we just group by the sorted word so uh, we have e like when we sort this we get like a e t right so under this bucket we get eat t and eight similarly for uh, for tan we get like a and t bucket and then we put tan and nat because these two when sorted and formed a tuple uh, will be equal to this value right so that's why uh, we ju just group them with this key and these two are the values so here similarly for bat we just have this tuple and then nothing else matches so just only one thing in this group so here this is what we just discussed for these three strings the sorted key is a e t so under this bucket we get e t t and a so for tan and nat the sorted key is a and t and then this uh, so we just group them into the tan and nat because these two are anagrams so similarly for bat the sorted key is abt and then we just grouped into one here bat so let's look into the code in slicing the hash map using the default dictionary here so here we just iterating through the strings and then we just uh, forming a tuple out of the sorted list here and then we are appending it to the bucket So here we use the tuple as a key because like list can't be the key uh, for the hash map because list is a immutable thing and the tuple is immutable. So the key of the hash map should always be immutable. Hence, we are using tuple. So at the end, we just retaining the grouped anagrams as an answer. Uh, so that is just like retaining the ans dot values, which would be the lists, right? Since this is a tuple uh, to list map, so we just have the uh, when we just do the answer dot values, it would just return a list of lists so here the time complexity is uh, o of n k log k where n is the number of strings and k is the maximum length of string in strings so here the sorting each string takes o of k log k time so multiplying that uh, n we get like n into k log k so the space complexity is o of n k to store the result because we have the let's say the n is the length of the array string and then uh, let's take k as a maximum uh, strings length so we would get o of n into k so i'll push to here key so intuition is like two strings are anagrams if and only if their character counts match so uh, we form an algorithm based of this so the algorithm is we can transform each string in s into the character count 
and consists of 26 non negative integers representing the number of a's b's and c's etc so we just count we can use this count as a basis for our hash map so let's look into the code here we're just initializing the hash map using the default dict and then we're iterating the each string so and then firstly we form a count list so that that would be mapping to the each uh, letter of the alphabet we have 26 alphabets right so we just make it as a 20 into 26 so that would form a 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 till 26 so for each character in the given string we just do a odd of character minus odd of a so what this odd does is like returns an integer that represents the unicode the unicode represents the ascii for the string that is posted in the function so we just subtracting odd of a from odd of c so that would be uh, giving it in the following it in the bracket of 0 to 25. So uh, why because that's, uh, let's say if we take a, a minus a then it would be 0. Let's say we get g then g minus a it would be 25. So, so here we are just accessing that particular index and then uh, we are just incrementing that count for the corresponding character. It's uh, incrementing the character count right that's all and then uh, we just use the character count tuple as a key and then append the original string here like this would be kind of similar to our previous approach and then finally we written the answer dot values which which was a list of list of strings so the time complexity here is o of nk where n is the number of strings and k is the maximum length of string in the strings and counting each character takes o of k so like o of since we have n strings and it takes o of k for each string so we get like o, uh, so we multiply this and then we get o of nk complexity the space complexity here is o of nk this is required to show the result uh, so even though the key in the hash map is like fixed size of 26 the total space needed to store the output depends on the input right here because we have to show that many uh, like whatever uh, to the input length we have to store it right so that's why it's o of nk so let's look into the dry run so here we are given the strings array we just initialize the default dict of list to group anagrams and then uh, here we take e so we compute the character count we get like this this is because we only have a e t in it and then we have only ones uh, so we just fill the respect to index x with one and the key becomes like this so we are using tuple as you know or we can't be using list we should be using tuple so we just convert this list to tuple uh, and then use it as a key so next thing is we update answer with this key uh, so we just append uh, e to this key and then next uh, element is t in the string so here the this is the identical character count to e similarly uh, we just have the key here and then we, and then we just append it to the key so similarly for other things we do that so by the end of the process the answer dictionary groups all the anagrams together based on their character count the values in the answer are like this so for for the key corresponding to e t and 8 we have these values and similarly for t n and nat we have these values for the bat we have this bat so the final output is like we're doing the answer at value that would be giving us a list of list of strings so this is how the output look like demo and conclusion So here uh, I just showed the two mothers for the two different approaches. Let's try submitting each of them. So for first I'm submitting using sorting approach. So we see that it's accepted answer and then let's see the uh, second approach. Yeah, this also accepted answer both solutions offer a unique way to tackle the problem of grouping anagrams the first approach is a sorted tuple as a key which is very straightforward but slightly less efficient due to the sorting step the second approach is a count of characters as a key which avoids the sorting step this could be more efficient for the larger data sets however the choice between these methods may be depending on the specific constraints and the requirements of the problem at the hand both methods successfully group anagrams and demonstrate the power and flexibility of using hash maps Thank you for tuning into the episode of Hack Code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problems on text. If you have any questions or solutions for future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding!